welcome back to day 19 where we are having a mindful journey just hoping that this is a little easier to bring into your day and into your life and I'm going to do something slightly different today by sharing a poem with you. Now during mindfulness we share stories and poems and different things that we've discovered which just really make us think I would like to say well they make me think that's for sure so I'm going to read this to you now. It's by a lady called Nadine Stair. She was aged 85 when she wrote this. And the poem is called, If I Had My Life to Live Over. Now, just bringing you into the present moment, if you just want to take a couple of deep breaths, just in your own time. And then as you just settle all down, just if you want to close your eyes, that's perfectly fine. So feel free to close your eyes down. I'm just going to share this poem with you now. And as I said, it's called, If I Had My Life to Live Over. If I had my life to live over, I dare to make more mistakes next time. I'd relax. I would limber up. I would be sillier than I have been this trip. I would take fewer things seriously. I would take more chances. I would take more trips. I would climb more mountains and swim more rivers. I would eat more ice cream and less beans. I would perhaps have more actual troubles, but I'd have fewer imaginary ones. You see, I'm one of those people who live sensibly and sanely hour after hour, day after day. Oh, I've had my moments and if I had to do it over again, I'd have more of them. In fact, I try to have nothing else, just moments, one after another, instead of living so many years ahead of each day. I've been one of those people who never go anywhere without a thermometer, a hot water bottle, a raincoat and a parachute. If I had to live my life over, I would start barefoot earlier in the spring and stay that way till later in the fall. If I had to do it again, I would travel lighter next time. I would go to more dances. I would ride more merry-go-rounds and I would pick more daisies. And that was by Nadine Stair, an 85 year old lady. And I find it so inspiring and where it fits in with mindfulness, I think it just goes to show how much we plan for every event, how far in the future we're always living essentially, missing the moments that are right in front of us. And on the flip side, we get caught up in the past and we're not present at all. So just think about that today and think about how you can just really embrace today, make the absolute best of it and bring mindfulness to anything at all that you do. And I hope you enjoyed that and I'll be back again tomorrow.